Um, y'all following the Olympics? A little bit. A little bit, a little, little bit. bit. Yeah. Not as close as I want to. All right. So um, how do y'all feel about the U.S. men's team basketball? I feel like they'll be okay. Yeah? They'll be good. They'll build uh, chemistry and uh, they'll uh, they'll figure it out. I feel I feel like they could take the go home this year. How, how much more rope do they have? Because they've been losing, right? Like, so, I mean, like, how, how a, long does that ramp go before you? It's a tournament. <laughs> like, you know, you got to have a know? better record than the other okay, teams. Okay, so you think they'll end up just rising into like a gold medal? Like, yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, I think they they're that level. They could get a gold medal. I, I believe it they almost have seems, the talent to do so. It almost seems like it's just like a team that's never played together. So it's like they have a talent, but you'd almost need like that year to like just get good, and, like know each other, know what well, the role. They, they are there roles? So they bunch of like they practice. Okay. Like it's not like they're they're just like coming together on some like uh um pickup shit. It's not a pickup game, you know? Like the the they practice oh together. God, yeah. They the score Iran. It was I'm like sorry. what, one twenty six to I like sixty. It was whole, terrible. Whole country. Yeah, it was bad. Oh my God, See, this guys. is what I'm used to. I'm just, used don't, to us, just don't show up, man. I'm used to the United States beating the dog shit out of everybody in basketball. Yeah, now That's because you're used turn. to LeBron, Kobe, D. Wade, and Chris Bosh, and Carmelo Anthony, and uh, who else was on that team? That was the best team. Dwight. Early Dwight Howard. Um, so that, that Joe was 2018? Joe Johnson. Uh, that was their best team. That was the U.S. best team by far. No, the dream team, bro. Nah, team. I don't think so. You're you're bugging. You're, <laughs> you're bugging, insane. bro. You're an insane person. LeBron and Kobe Can on you, the same team. I need you to pull up these two things, right? I need you to pull up these two. Um, now, if Rossi. Jordan had a LeBron, play, First, he was playing with, then I would agree. The, the 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 dream team, the original dream team. I believe it was ninety. Versus what? Two. Ninety-two. Versus the roster. What is the what is the roster? And put that in a tab. And then I need another tab of the redeem team. I believe that was two thousand and I want to say eight. I think that's two thousand. Wait, eight, yeah, right. Oh, look at this! I'm fucking fire. Um, while you're doing that, my man Boots has to be out uh, again. Embers Burning in the Witching Hour, great album. Got vinyl currently available. Hoodies currently available. Uh, where can they find you? Where are your socials? Uh, socials. <clears throat> Hurt and Feelings. H U R T I N F E E L I N S. Boots the Blessed everywhere. I'll stream your shit. I'm rather elevated. What else? Am I missing and, anything? Uh, merch oh, sites. shit, my bad. Big car, uh, wearboots.bigcartel.com or straight from the website, knockingboots.com. Oh, yeah. And we'll put all of these links in the description for all of the videos. Um, thank you for coming out. And uh, we're going we're gonna to link soon. Um, we're also working on a project. The shit's going to be fire. Fa. F-Y-E. Plus uh, and bombies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peace, guys. Uh, Good to see you. Hit like me, when you, always hit me when you get to your destination, please. Absolutely. Foxies. Yeah. If y'all get bored after this, already, Foxies. Already. I'll have a bottle. Or two. Ah, <laughs> might take you up on that. <laughs> hey, it was good to meet you, man. Thank you, bro. Enjoy your city. Good see you soon. Yeah, hit me. Wow. Anybody else have one? Uh, see you soon, beloved. Like, hit me soon. Shut up, Boots. The most player dude I ever met. Yeah, Facts, bro. Yeah, never dressed bad. Got a slick ponytail. Never dressed badly. He over here got the same colors as the Joker or the new Joker. <laughs> the, the burgundy. <laughs> Clean, bro. <laughs> he got the Joaquin. The burgundy, bro. Got the burgundy Joaquin. Bro. I, read, I, was like, I read okay. somewhere early, earlier. Doing it like that. Please, bro. Possibilities about Joker sequels. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Do we want to talk about it? Or is it like a dumb? We can talk about that next. We can do that. Um, all right. So, Dream Team, who's on that roster? Uh, this is the roster here. All right. So, first, we got Magic Johnson. Magic 
motherfucking Johnson, aka the greatest point guard ever. First Charles to, to Barkley, interrupt you, I, I was wrong. Just just so he doesn't get his all his whole thing of like his rocks off. I was yeah. wrong. All right. Yes. I I seen yes, the list were. before <laughs> before Boots left. I seen the list. <laughs> And I didn't know this list was so star studded. Yeah. It looks like a damn galaxy. That's the dream team, bro. <laughs> and um, I, I say I say that to say this: this team is the reason why we're losing right now. The dream team is the reason why we, the United States, is losing in basketball in the Olympics right now. The reason why is because this team right here. This 1992 dream team made basketball a worldwide game. Because of this team, you got little kids that are like, I want to be Michael Jordan. I want to be Charles Barkley. In Slovenia I want to be Bingo. Creating little Luka Doncic everywhere. This created Kobe Bryant, who was in Italy. Kobe Bryant is more of an Italian person than he is an American person. Exactly. Little Kobe's, little little steaks running exactly. around. Exactly. So, like, without Crazy this like team. one foot difference in anybody. Hmm? You had John Stockton at, like, 6'1", and then you yeah. had uh, David Robinson at That was, like, one. a period of time like where, like, poof. being big was it's a like, really wow. a, a John huge Stockton advantage. was so yeah, cold, Yeah, but though. they just didn't even know what the, like. And they got motherfucking Christian Leitner on there, not Shaq. Christian Leitner. The only person on there that, that has a college team next to them. Yeah, they had to have one college player. But I say not Shaq because Christian Leitner, Shaquille O'Neal, Alonzo Mourning, they're all in the same yeah. draft class. They came in the year in the league at the same time. And why did they pick Shaq? Because they needed some... Christian Leitner was a big deal in college. He was I'm cold. Not, I'm not he was cold. Yeah, I know Christian he was Leitner cold. was a big deal in college. I'm just saying as far as like longevity, Shaq ended up better. I mean, yeah, clearly... But this is 1992, you know. They went into the league in '93, so that's that's the dream team: Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Scottie Pippen, Michael Jordan, Clyde Drexler, Carl Malone, John Stockton, Chris Mullen, Charles Barkley, David Robinson, Pat Ewing. Oh my God, they had David Robinson. Too. This is a different type oh of team. Goodness. I feel like most people know like eight, at least eight out of ten of those names. Facts, bro. Facts. These are legends. These are the people that made basketball the mammoth thing that it is right now. Now look at the Redeem team. 2008. Now this was called the Redeem team because in 2004 we got a bronze. We got beat the shit out of in a lot of games. Uh, Argentina won... Uh, the goal. You talking about against LeBron? Damn, it, yeah. LeBron and him lost. Two thousand four. Yeah, no, I'm talking about when he played with Kobe and KD yeah, and Melo. That was two thousand eight. Like okay, then team. that's what that's the one so I'm, that's talking what I'm talking about. about. Like two thousand four, we got our asses kicked. We got a bronze, and that's why this team is called the Redeem Team. It's the, this is two thousand eight. Next tab. No, oh, no, this is it. Two thousand eight. Oh, it's not oh. switched over yet. Keeps doing. Yeah, I know. I get stuck. Um, so, um, Carlos Boos- Boozer, Jason Kidd, LeBron James, Devin Williams, Michael Red, Dwayne Wade, Chris. Yes. Yeah, so Kobe just, Bryant, yeah, right. Dwight Howard, Chris Bosch, Chris Paul, Tayshawn, and Melo. That is. That's still like hat. Like, I feel like it's still not the same. This is a great team. Yeah. Like, if I'm. If I'm just looking at the players, team. right? This is a great team. This is a great team. This is like a this is a this is a team with no holes. I got you. There yeah. are no holes. People are either gonna give you buckets or keep you from scoring on this team. Even <laughs> Kobe Bryant, if he wasn't giving you buckets in some game, he'd be like, Carmelo, go get these buckets. I'm gonna keep this person from scoring a point. Kobe Bryant will lock your ass the fuck. Fuck down. Clamp. And you notice. Clamp, clamp. You notice he has the C next to his name, right? Center. No, oh, no. Captain. Oh, I see. Captain. Kobe Bryant is the captain of this team, meaning we're not fucking losing. But they lost. No, they won. 
This is the Redeem team. This is 20, 2004? 2008. They, they, they won, they Where's KD at, bro? To the Raptors? He was in 12. Oh, man. KD ain't on this team. He, was, he wasn't. I don't think he was even in the league yet. KD got a in gold eight. medal, though. Yeah, in 12. Damn. 2012. So, like, bring up the tw- 2012 roster. Man, I was really rooting for my boy. So, like, 2000, he, he has one. But it was in 2012. Uh, that's I believe that's where him and Kyrie started, like really, really clicking. Um, uh, I think Carmelo might have been the captain that year, and LeBron, him and LeBron and Wade. So uh, 2012, Tyson Chandler, Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, Darren Williams, Iguodala, Kobe, um, Kevin Love, James Harden, Chris Paul, Anthony Davis, Carmelo Anthony. That's a squad too. Where What's is Russell Westbrook KD? was on there too. No KD. Kevin Durant is the second one. What are you talking about? Oh shit! I literally said that. I'm dumb. Anyway, uh, wow. Yeah, that's also a stacked team, and we won a gold that year. You know, like you're not beating that team. No. And this is basically why you don't have um, Carmelo and LeBron year? on this year's teams because they're we already. We already did that a few times. What? And Kobe was on all these teams, bro. He wasn't on all of them. Well, a lot of them that I'm seeing right now, he was on them joints. The great so. players do like three. Didn't we lose a couple of players? Like what do you they mean? Just, didn't they just like trade a couple off or like of the Olympic team? Mm-hmm. Kevin Love got hurt. He should have never even been there. Um <laughs> Man. He should yeah, have, he said that. He shouldn't have I'm never been there. Man, I don't know why the fuck he's there. He should never have been there. I also think he's selfish for being there. Like, the fuck? You took a roster spot when you knew you weren't, like, ready to play. But what the fuck ever. They, um, <laughs> now they have fucking, what's his name? Uh, uh, JaVel McGee. I'm not mad at JaVel McGee, right? You know, go USA. But I wish... Christian Wood would have played. Uh, I wish, like, all right, so just getting into this year's um, Olympic team. Can you pull up the roster, please? Yeah. One thing I will say about this year's Olympic team is that they don't have any rim protection. They don't have any good centers. Their, their big men are basically Draymond, um, Bam Adebayo, um, and it was Kevin Love. But he's hurt. He's out. You always hurt. Um, I I feel optimistic now that like Drew Holiday is there. Um oh, but okay. Drew Holiday's okay. there. Chris Middleton is there. Okay. Um, they're really good together. They're yes. like a super they're like like a transformer. They're like they really do. Yeah. They play. That's what you need, I think, to succeed. Devin at this Booker. Point. Yeah. So like uh you got this is this is this year's team. So you got Bam Adebayo, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, Jeremy Grant, Draymond Green, Drew Holiday, Keldon Johnson, who was a replacement, Zach Levine, Damian Lillard, JaVel McGee, who was a replacement, Chris Middleton, and Jason Tatum. So looking at that team, you got your your starting point guard. It better be Drew Holiday. If it's anyone other than Drew Holiday, it should be Dame Lillard. Then it is no. It should be Drew Holiday. Yes, it should. It should be Drew Holiday. Wow. And the reason why it should be Drew Holiday is because Drew Holiday plays defense. Um, but Dane spreads the floor. I'm not saying Damian, Damian Lillard shouldn't start. There's another backcourt position, right? Backcourt? Yeah. You get two guards in the backcourt, two forwards on the wings, and a center. That's okay. what you start with. I see what you're So saying. I think that the starting lineup should be Drew Holiday at the point. Damian Lillard at the two. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I feel like Just Damian Lillard should be the one, but I guess. I mean, it doesn't matter, really. You can put Damian Lillard at the one. I am i won't quibble. Damian Lillard <laughs> at the one, Drew Holiday at the two. Um, at the starting three, it, it's Kevin Durant or nobody. Right? Yeah. No, well, Chris Middleton. Chris, I'd start Chris Middleton. What do you think? Over KD? Like, like, like KD coming clean I put up? KD at the four. Oh. Oh yeah, he's yeah, seven I feet see tall. What you're saying. Never mind. Yeah, that's cool. I, I put Chris Middleton saying. at the oh, three. KD. I put uh, KD at the four. I think they got Jason Tatum starting at the three though. 
Yeah, I like Jason Tatum. I think Jason Tatum is better than Chris Middleton. All right there. I right think there. he is too, but I think Jason Tatum is more effective when he has the ball. And I think Chris Middleton doesn't need the ball. So yeah, Chris you need Middleton people that can just need like the ball. you're right. So you're right. Chris Middleton and K D. And then uh, at the five, right now I think they got Bam out of bio starting. Which I'm fine with. So Bam starting. The problem with Bam is I think he's like six nine. He's a really good defender, he's switchable. But whenever it gets to the point where you have to like guard somebody larger. He has issues. So who is your backup center at this point? <clears throat> it has been Draymond Green. Draymond Green is shorter than Bam Adebayo. Draymond Green is like 6'7". Yeah. So I'd make Draymond backup four. Uh, I'd have Jerry and Grant backup three. I'd have Jason Tatum. Hmm. Shit. I'd have Jason, Jason Tatum, Tatum at backup, backup three. three. Yeah. I'd put Jeremy Grant at backup four, Draymond at backup five, but then you're still missing size. Kelton Johnson is my backup. No, Zach Levine is my backup two. And backup one is Booker. Yeah, this team. This team ain't as good as the other teams, but it's not it's, it's not nice, it's though. not a bad team at all. It just doesn't have any rim protection. That's what I'm noticing as I look at this lineup. Um they don't have anybody to protect the rim and if they think JaVel McGee is going to be that, I think that they are mistaken. I kind of wish Dwight Howard had gone. Dwight Howard might have been exactly what they need. Um there is a rumor though that the reason why they were having a hard time beating teams like Nigeria is because they don't like the way that Greg Popovich is coaching the team. He's basically making them run Spurs shit. Thoughts? What do you know about the Spurs, Ev? Not much. Really not much. What do you know? Uh, I mean, really not. I really have only been paying attention the last couple of years. I could tell you what I know. Yeah. How would you describe the Spurs, that? Jay Carr? I, I describe the Spurs and pass the ball at least five times before you score, mm-hmm. before you try to score, attempt to score. And everybody is really uh, compartmentalized as far as, like, this piece does this, this piece does that. This piece does this and that. This player does this and that. You know, it's it's like a puzzle. Yeah. Their team is like the teams are like puzzles and they come together so perfectly. I'd agree with that. There is um one particular Spurs team, I believe it was two thousand and fourteen. They won the title that year. They beat the Heat, the Miami Heat, with like LeBron, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosch. And they beat them by a record margin. Like, they beat the dog shit out of them. Yeah, Ray and, Allen. Um, and Ray Allen. And yeah. they beat the shit out of them. And that his, history will know that team as the team that played the beautiful game. Can you look that up? The yeah. beautiful game? What year? Uh, I believe it was 14. Type in the Spurs beautiful game. See if see what, what year comes up. Um, what is interesting about that team is uh, Kawhi Leonard won the finals MVP that year, and he might have been like a second or third year player. I believe it was like his third year. No, he was on the Spurs. Um, he was like the go-to, right? Yeah. Because I remember was getting old. specifically LeBron James was at the foul line, and they bought Kawhi Leonard back in, and LeBron saw that Kawhi was coming back in, and he said, Fuck. <laughs> he was upset. He was like, fuck, he's back. Because Kawhi was guarding him. That's why Kawhi won finals MVP that year. Because he's guarding LeBron. And LeBron scoring. was like, fuck. And scoring. And it's, you could see the video. All right, so the beautiful game. Um, see if you can find That's 14. All right, so what's the roster? They had Danny Green. Yeah. 
Their starting lineup was Corey like Joseph. Tony Parker, Danny Green, um, Splitter. I remember Splitter. Tiago Splitter. I Tim remember Duncan. Splitter. Yeah. Uh, who else? Who was the three? Ginobili didn't start. Oh shit! Sorry. Patty Mills. Patty Mills didn't start. Uh, At least I don't think so. I don't believe so. But what made that team so special is, like you said, they, they had this system where it was like you have to make a decision about whether you're, you're going to pass. Kyle Anderson. Or Kyle Jordan. Anderson. Kyle, I don't think he started. Uh, you said he was a three? You said who was a three, right? Starting. Boris Diaz? I think Boris Diaz started some of those games. He played a lot of minutes, though. It was they had Jermichael Parker. Green? Yeah, they did. I didn't know that. Parker Green. Kawhi was the three, bro. Where did he Kawhi, be? Kawhi, you're right. I'm Shit, sure we just I'm talked about that. Bugging. We're tweaking, bro. Yeah, We're Kawhi tweaking. was the three. There you go. So, yeah, it was Parker, Danny Green, Kawhi Leonard, um, Tim Duncan, Tiago Splitter starting. They had a young Jermichael Green, bro. They did. I did not know that. They did. And then Corey off the Johnson. bench, they had like Ginobili, the Kyle Anderson, Marco Bellinelli, fucking Boris Diaw, and they're just killing shit. They never missed a beat. And they had this ball movement thing where they, they had a rule where you had to make a decision about whether you were going to pass, drive, or shoot within um, one second. So that's why they had just so many passes and so many passes. And people that didn't have the ball were still moving. So there was always, like, somebody open. They kept a couple shooters on the floor at all times. <laughs> and it was just, like, an unstoppable team that people would just look at and say, holy fuck, this is different. I've never seen no shit like this. And it has not been replicated since. And I believe... That Greg Popovich, who was always a good coach, but he always had one of the best players of all time. So how can you really tell if he is the best coach? Um, kind of hangs his hat on that season. And the way that they won is just so uniquely special. Um, and that year that Golden State won 73 games, the Spurs won like 68 games. I'm serious. That's crazy. And they're beating the shit out of the Warriors until um, Zaza Pachulia slid his foot under Kawhi Leonard when he was shooting. Kawhi got hurt. They were. And then the Spurs and Kawhi. basically end. Yeah. Right then. And haven't been the same since. They have not been the same since. All because of Zaza Pachulia. He ruined it. <laughs> Why do people always say, oh, you smoking on that Zaza? I think it's just like a... Um, <laughs> it's just uh, a term. Slang. Some slang. Smoking on that Zaza. Some new slang. Slanguage. You feel? But, um, yeah. 